Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are back at it again. Welcome to the portal. Uh, now, let's talk about uh, reactions of alkanes. Okay, other reactions of alkanes. If you have seen the previous video of one of the reaction of alka reactions of alkanes, which is combustion, then we can say I you are fine, you can uh, proceed to this one as well. But if you haven't seen the, the other video on combustion, yeah, I suggest that you go watch it. There's a lot that you can learn uh, uh, in that video. Okay, guys. So in this video, we'll talk about uh, substitution and elimination of uh, alkanes. Okay. So now... Here I have a, a, a structural formula a equation. So the substitution of alkanes is halogenation. Okay, so substitution of uh, alkanes is halogenation. So we have X2 here. Okay, so this is X2. Okay, but then I have return it like this so that you can see uh, what happens when we substitute okay uh, now let me take a different color and explain with it okay so now in halogenation what happens is we have an alkane which is a saturated hydrocarbon right so it's not easy to uh, 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 to separate the hydrogen from the carbon okay so it's not easy to overcome this bond so in order for you to overcome this bond you will need energy so what kind of energy are we going to need we're going to need energy uh, in a form of light or heat okay so we'll have uh, reaction conditions let me choose the the, the the nice white okay so the reaction conditions halogenation so now number one we will uh, require energy so it can be in a form of uh, light okay light light or heat okay to be specific here uh, not any kind of light can uh, supply us with the correct amount of energy here we will require a light such as sunlight because sunlight it has uv in it so i'll say uv light uv light okay so uv light you will see that uh, when they talk about uv light sometimes they don't write uv light they just write hf right what is this hf this hf is just uh, energy of a photon as you uh, go further in, in the curriculum you will do what we call photoelectric effect this way you will learn about energy of a photon so do not be alarmed when you see hf just know that it means uv light ultraviolet light or sunlight because the sun contains ultraviolet rays okay so and also heat heat it is sometimes represented as a delta like this a change okay so it is sometimes represented like this so don't be confused when you see such things okay so let me go back to the structural formula so now here as you know uh, from sports for example football when we say we are saying uh, 
we are doing a substitution. Let's say a coach is doing a substitution. Uh, it's substituting uh, Messi with Mbappe, for example. So, uh, if we are substituting, it means that we are exchanging, right? The one who is in the pitch must come out of the pitch and go to the bench. And the one who's, who's, on, who's on the bench must uh, 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 go into the pitch. So, there's an exchange, right? So, now there's an exchange. So, meaning now, uh, 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 Messi will exchange with Mbappe. Okay. Uh, here they have exchanged. Okay. So now this X has exchanged with hydrogen. So this X is now uh, a part of this uh, C group, this uh, molecule that has a carbon. This here. Okay. So and now where we had two X's, we only have one X. And that H, the H is from uh, the methane. So now they have exchanged positions. That's what substitution means. That's what it simply is. We exchange positions. I come to where you are and you come to where I was. To where. So simple as that. So uh, this type of uh, reaction, it requires uh, uh, conditions on your arrow so when you are writing this in the you're gonna write your conditions that oh okay so it, they can write uh, uv light or they can write uh, heat so why do we need this heat we or uv light we need it to uh, overcome the bond between the carbon and the uh, and the hydrogen so uh, now we don't only have reactions or a substitution reaction of methane only we have uh, other uh, uh, molecules as well so now as you can see that methane methane okay is what this carbon this hydrogen if i'm looking at this hydrogen is what is a primary hydrogen because the carbon connected to this hydrogen is not connected to any uh, 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 to, to, let me so let, let me not say to any carbon okay it is connected to three hydrogens yes this carbon it is connected to three other hydrogens so this makes this a what a primary uh, uh, carbon so now we can have cases whereby we have a primary secondary and tertiary let's say in this case we have a okay now let's Okay, yeah, let's call our uh, uh, hydrogen now the one that we want. Okay, so now if I say uh, plus B, BR, BR2 plus BR2, okay, our conditions, let's say I say HF. So, what will be your product? It means that the bromine is going to go. To the methyl, right? Plus uh, HBR. Okay. So this H is that one that we have uh, eliminated from. Uh, uh, that we have substituted from the secondary uh, carbon so now this carbon what primary this one secondary and then primary 
So here we have a, we have a battle between the secondary and the primary. But I chose the secondary. Why did I choose the secondary? So here we have a, a secondary versus primary. Okay. So your answer uh, must be the one. Uh, 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 what you are substituting must go to the most substituted carbon. The ones that the carbon that has that is linked to uh, uh, more carbons. If you can check this one, this carbon is linked to this carbon only, and this one is linked to this one only. So makes it primary, primary. But this one, the middle one, is linked to this one and that one. So it's secondary. So but why secondary wins? Okay. Let me not go too deep, but then the reason being uh, halogenation uh, takes place or it occurs via uh, a free radicals uh, uh, chain reaction, right? So a radical, it is something that is not stable because it lacks electron. So in order for it to be stable, it must have uh, electrons so the carbons for the secondary one the carbons they provide that stability the more carbons we have it means we provide that stability so that radical becomes stable so the last substituted uh, a radical is it will have a uh, 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 high energy and it will not be stable so we prefer the one that is more substituted so now this is why our uh, why our molecule must have the br in the middle and then if i do this if i say Okay, and then I put uh, a nice hydrogen here. Okay. Um, okay. And let's say this is white. This is white. Okay. This is white, right? White, white, white. Let's put a purple a purple hydrogen here, and then on this one, let's put a green one. A green one okay and then uh, let's put a brown one here so now if I say plus uh, we are uh, plus br2 okay chef so now i want to know where is br gonna go on this uh, 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 hydrogens the purple one the red one the brown one and the green one you choose okay so what happens is uh, the hydrogen that is on the carbon that is mostly substituted with other carbons it will be the one that is preferred because it has more carbons the more carbons they provide stability uh, to the radical and then it means that now we will require less energy to make the reaction work okay so and we don't want to overspend uh, in bills of 
the energy you see so now we want to use less energy as much as possible so we're going to uh, prefer the one with uh, less energy so it's the one that is on the carbon that is uh, mostly substituted so if you can check now here uh, this one why not this one this one it's a, if you can check this carbon is connected to one carbon okay so it is what it is a primary car uh, carbon and then this one this carbon is connected to one two three so this one is what is tertiary and then this one primary this one primary this one secondary you see so which one is preferred this one the red one so now our answer our answer is going to be uh, our answer will be okay br here Okay, here I won't put the colors anymore because uh, uh, we are wasting time. So it's gonna come to this one, right? So you must know if you have uh, a tertiary, a carbon, and a secondary, and primary. So the one that's gonna win is the one with a, a larger number, okay? So, uh, secondary over primary and primary over secondary over primary and uh, uh, tertiary over secondary okay guys so that is all uh, there is to it with uh, halogenation okay so if you know this then uh, examples you can do other problems by yourselves because I've given you everything here usually they don't give you the last one the one that I've shown you this one but they ask this question in the exam so I've seen it they ask it in the exam okay so let's cut this video here so that I make the one of elimination uh, very short but let's just uh, let's just continue here okay so now uh, elimination of alkanes so this this reaction is called what cracking of alkanes cracking of alkanes right so now we have two types of uh, 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 cracking, right? We have thermal cracking, thermal cracking. We also have catalytic cracking. So, in thermal cracking, we work with uh, high temperatures very high temperatures very high temperatures and we work with high pressure as well and then in catalytic cracking we work with a catalyst okay catalyst so uh, an example of the catalyst is uh, the FCC okay so fluid catalytic cracking for fluid catalytic cracking so what is cracking cracking is uh, breaking down uh, a longer molecule into a smaller uh, useful molecules 
Okay, so now this uh, techniques of cracking uh, they yield the same result even though they don't use the same method. Okay, so in cracking there's no specific formula to say that if you crack this you're going to get this and that, right? You have to see what they have given you, read your statement what they've given you. For example, we can crack uh, we can crack a molecule and then we can get an alkene we can crack an alkene and get alkene plus an alkene right for example they, they tell you that uh, this molecule they have applied uh, high temperature and uh, high pressure so now they tell you that one of the molecules is, is this P and Q right and then they tell you that P is a uh, uh, carbon is a tricarbon alkene, right? P is a tricarbon alkene. And then they ask you, what is Q? What is Q? Right? So if P is a tricarbon alkene, so here, if we check, we have one, we have one, two, three, four. Okay? So in order for me to have an alkene here, it means I must... Uh, remove uh, what I must remove uh, some hydrogens okay so three carbon alkenes alkene it has what it has C 3 H uh, H6 okay so how many uh, uh, carbons are we left with we left with an alkene that is C1 okay C1 H uh, 2 times 1 is 2 plus 2 it's 4 CH4 which is methane if you check this number of hydrogens 6 plus 4 is 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay so it means now uh, after they have cracked this molecule we get uh, we get something like this plus something like this so now this is the, the product of the cracking so we have broken a longer chain to get what to get a shorter uh, molecules that are more useful uh, to other processes okay so that's what cracking is but it's not always an alkene and uh, alkene and alkene it can be an alkene plus hydrogen yes or it can be two alkenes and an alkene you see so depends on what they have given you so that's all there is to it guys so even with the catalytic cracking you get uh, uh, same results it's just that you use different things so uh, okay guys thank you uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe